Okay, so in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to actually um, uh, use the SunPath module to attach objects and to do uh, overshadowing renders in Blender, uh, for example. So um, in the previous tutorial I showed you actually how to start up the, the SunPath module, so we're going to do that again, user preferences SunPath, we start it up. If you wanted to, you could actually visualize the actual sun path um, while you're doing this, it doesn't really matter. Now we'll get rid of this lamp there and we're actually going to add a, a, a sun object in there. So there, there's a sun right there. Now what we do is we go to the scene menu and there's the ODS Studio scene settings down here. And if we've got the sun path module enabled, we can actually apply solar path. And there you go. Now what that does is it applies it to the selected object. So now we have a sun there that's linked to that sun path. And it's for this particular day and this particular month. So this is the 1st of January, which is the middle of summer in the southern hemisphere here. And you can see that it's following that 1st of January blue line there. Okay, so that's the line that responds to January. And it will arrive every hour on a yellow marker, which indicates the lines of constant um, time. So... That's it there, we can move that up to say that month and apply it again. And now this is on the 1st of, of April and there it is there. And it's gonna follow that sun path. So now that's not all that we can do there. What we normally wanna do is we wanna render a particular time or sequence of, of days to get an overshadowing. So imagine this was a building here. I might scale it up doubly and just move it up one. And what I'll do is I'll add a ground plane here and I'll scale it out just like that, there we go. So now we've got our sun and we've got our building. And what we have to do though, before we do any overshadowing in, in uh, Blender, you have to actually turn on ray shadows because it's by default, the sun has no shadows. So if we turn on ray shadow, it will actually now do a ray traced, ray traced shadow. And uh, what we want to do is set the time that we want to animate it from. It currently does it from midnight to midnight, but we might want to only do it from say uh, 8 a.m., which is frame 32 up until uh, say 11.30 which is frame 46. So we go here and we go from frame 32 to frame 46 in the render settings. And you can see it's sh shaded down here in the timeline uh, where you want to do your rendering from. If you then go and view the camera, um, you can actually select your camera, shift F to fly around if you want to actually get a bit of a better perspective. But that, that will probably do there and you should be right to go. You can actually just go now, render animation. You can actually press that button and it will start to actually render the sequence of shadows. So there you go. And that's it. And it's rendered it into the temp directory as PNGs. You can render it as a XVID, AVI, anything you want, BMPs, but it's put it into my temp directory. I could have selected a different directory and put it into say here where I've done ones before. Um, but that's not all you can do. Um, there's actually quite a bit more interesting stuff that you can do with this. So say for example, because it blends an animation studio, you can do anything you want with it. So imagine I wanted to attach that camera to the sun and then I can actually get orthographic views from different times a day. So that's quite an interesting thing to do. What I'd do is I'd move the sun back, the camera back to zero, 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 and I'd recenter it. So that's now the camera is just sitting there at zero. And I would then actually parent it. So if you go to the object menu, relations, and make the parent the sun. And you can see now, if I turn off the sun path, you can actually see that the camera is attached to the sun there. And if I go view camera, you can actually see, and then I go left and right, I can view from the sun's position. Now that's perspective view but I can also actually turn it on here and turn it on an orthographic view and scale it out a little bit. There we are. And you can see there, you've got an orthographic view. I can also um, go here and maybe apply a different material to the ground and just make it a bit of a different color. There you go. So that will differentiate a little bit better. And what you'd normally do then as well is you can use this here to actually just render the viewport. So what you do is you do that and you can actually just see that's now just rendering um, just with OpenGL. So it doesn't do nice shadows, but you don't need obviously shadows when you're doing an orthographic 
uh, render from the sun because you wouldn't see any shadows. Um, so this is just viewing actually the exposure at various times throughout the day along the animation sequence. So that's quite uh, quite handy to do as well, just to get a qualitative idea of uh, exposure of different facades, sun overshadowing, and uh, and shadows. So that's just some of the stuff that you can do with the SunPath module. And um, yeah, thanks for thanks for listening.